What up, YouTube Dog Pound Nation? Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to the morning rant. Got some Baker Mayfield talk going on this morning. And before we get into all that, got to thank all my dedicated viewers and subscribers for your loyalty and dedication to the channel. I truly, truly mean that from the bottom of my heart because if it wasn't for you, this would be possible. Also, if you're new to the channel, take that time right now and hit that subscribe, hit that like, and hit that notification bell. If you want to join the family, talk Browns football, this is the place to be. Hit that subscribe and hit that like and hit that notification bell. Also, got to thank Steve and Nancy for your donations. I truly, truly appreciate it. All donations go to upgrading this channel. Going to make some upgrades eventually. I'm going to bank it until I hit that certain point where I can start selling merchandise and upgrading with the camera and all that good stuff. And all donations are truly, truly appreciated. If you want to make donations to the channel, all the information will be down in the description box down below with my Venmo, PayPal, and Cash App, all that different avenues where you can make your donations. Thank you very much, and let's get into this video. All right, I dropped a vid yesterday talking about the Baker Mayfield trade being traded to the Carolina Panthers, and I told you I was coming back the following morning with another video discussing the situation. Last night, I was on the Bleacher Report on the community, and I got into it with some fans. I always do, every time I get on there, because you got these, I don't know, I don't know. I don't want to call them adults because they act like children on there. All these Baker bros. Come on, man. Like, I seen a comment saying, oh, look at all these Baker bros come out of the woodwork. It's comical. Are you serious, man? Like, we all know Baker struggled last year, all right? The dude was hurt, all right? He had no business playing, all right? And yeah, you can say it's his fault. You can say it's the coaching staff's fault. You can say it's whoever's fault. It doesn't matter. It happened. He shouldn't have been playing because he could not perform, you know, well enough. You know, it was more or less hurting the team. We know that. But, you know, what kills me is, is it wasn't very long ago when Baker Mayfield his debut against the New York Jets <clears throat> came out, lit it up, won our first game in I don't know how long, a year, over a year, unlocked all the Bud Light coolers throughout the city and all over the country, and had a really good rookie year, broke the rookie TD passes that year. Yes, I know Justin Herbert broke it the following year. But Baker had an outstanding rookie year. All right, he, had, he saw, you know, he had he had the slump the following year, and then in 2020, after Week Six, he lit it up, had the third best quarterback rating in the league, and brought us to the playoffs, won a playoff game, and you know, everybody was on his, you know what? Then they were all on the bandwagon. Now, you know, you, didn't, you, you couldn't see anybody talking down on Baker then. <clears throat> Baker comes back the following year. Week two hurts his shoulder. Week three or four re-injures his shoulder, breaks it now. Now he's got a broken shoulder on top of a torn labrum. Then like week five or six, bangs up his knee, his ankle. The kid was banged up. He shouldn't have been playing. All right, we all know that. But he still had the guts to go out there and go to battle for his city, for his fans, trying to win. The kid wanted to win. The kid wanted to be here. All right. Now, am I upset that we got rid of Baker Mayfield? There's a side of me that's, I'm not upset. It's just kind of sad because the kid did do some good things for the Cleveland Browns. And if you're going to say he did it, you need to get your head examined. Because what were we before Baker Mayfield came to Cleveland? What were we? 0-16? 1-16? Does that ring a bell? 
Oh, I know it's coming. I know it's coming in the comments. I know it's coming. Oh, that wasn't because of Baker. That was because of our running game. That was because of the roster, the upgrades. You still need a quarterback to perform well to have success. I don't care who you are. All right. Now, Stefanski came along in 2020. He had the third best quarterback rate from week six, week six on. Had a really great year. Yeah, his stats weren't off the charts, but guess what? His stats aren't going to be off the charts because in that system, no quarterback's going to have these crazy numbers. It's not going to happen in that type of offense. But you still got to have a quarterback, all right? The kid made us relevant again. He did. And if you say he did it, like I said before, you need your head examined. He, he made us relevant. He put us back on the map. He did a lot off the field for the city. You know, with him and his wife, Emily. I know a lot of you guys don't like Emily. But they're good people. They did a lot for the city. The Boys and Girls Club. I mean, they... Look, look, look what they did to that fan. I mentioned it about a month ago. I mean, they brought a fan up from down south, the Carolinas. Brought him up. The guy was pretty much on his deathbed. You know. And he didn't have much longer to win. He just wanted to watch his Cleveland Browns one more time in person. So guess what? Baker Mayfield and others got this guy up there. Emily gave up her suite. For the guy to watch the game. Baker met him after the game, made his day, took pictures, all that stuff. He doesn't he didn't have to do all that. He even made a whole YouTube video to the guy before it even happened. Wishing him well, he's in his prayers, all that stuff. Took the time. I the dude's a good dude. Yeah, he's gotta have a little, you know, maturity check and get get his shit together. We all know that. There's things that he should have left unsaid. But it makes me sick to watch these guys, men, sit there and bash somebody that did a lot of good for the city. That did a, that, that the, the guy wanted to be here. He, there's not too many people that want to play for the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> Maybe now. But back then, no. He wanted to be here. He wanted to change the culture here. He wanted to bring a swag here. He wanted to win. And he did have a lot of success. If you like it or not. So, I mean, you guys are going to... I'm sure I'm going to get a comment or two where you guys are going to bash me. Oh, you're a baker, bro. No, I'm not a baker, bro. I just know show a little respect to somebody that has done some good. Am I happy we have Deshaun Watson? Yes. On the football level I am. Yes. Would I take Deshaun Watson over Baker Mayfield? Yes. On the football aspect of it. Yes. Because we all know Baker is not elite. I know that. Would I take Deshaun Watson over Mayfield? Every day of the week I would. <clears throat> so I mean it's just Show the man some respect man That's that's all I'm saying Grow up The dude did good here Because there's a lot of people that were on the Bleacher Report Giving Baker the farewell On a positive note Thank you for what you did here but And people are out there bashing man It's disgusting you're an ignorant fan. A very, very ignorant fan. And if you're one of them fans, if you if, if you get upset with what I'm saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. But it is what it is. <coughs> I'm going to back somebody that's done a lot of good. He brought excitement back to Cleveland. And it's just, it, it, you know, and I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm a diehard Cleveland Browns fan 
since the age of five, okay? I've been going to games since I was five. I had the Bernie Kosar posters on my wall with Webster Slaughter and all that stuff. I've been a fan since I was five years old and I bleed brown and orange. And when week one comes around, when Baker Mayfield comes, or we go to Carolina, I believe it is. I'm not sure, but I know we play the Panthers. And I think we're going to beat them, and I want to beat them. I never want the Cleveland Browns to lose. Never. Never, 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 never. But I am going to say, if Baker Mayfield beats us week one, if he beats us week one, I'm not going to be too upset. If I be, get beat by anybody, I wouldn't mind. I, 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 I don't know. You can call me crazy. You can call me crazy. You can go, what the hell's wrong with you? This, that, and that. I'm just saying. If I get beat by anybody, it'd be, I, I, I wouldn't mind seeing Baker beat us. Because in a way, you know, I can see where he would be angry. I can see it. He's going to come with a vengeance. That's, that's facts. But that's all I got for now. You guys might agree, you might disagree with me. You can call me whatever you want to call me. I'm a Cleveland Browns fan through and through. And I'm a Deshaun Watson supporter. On the field, football only. Other than that, I will never buy a Deshaun Watson jersey. I will never do anything like that. But I hope this kid goes out there and balls his ass off and wins us a Super Bowl. You bet that. But I got, that's all I got for now. I'm pulling into work. I hope everybody has a great day today. And, you know, God bless. And if you're new to my channel, you can go ahead and take that time right now. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like. Hit that notification bell. Everybody have a great day. Stay safe. And God bless. And go back.